Shke. So, how do you make these things last longer? Number one, don't buy cheap drumsticks. They don't last. You think you're saving money, but you're not saving any money in the long run. Generally, you want to be spending over nine euros on a pair. Stick to a good brand. They generally last a lot longer, so you can hit that drum with more confidence. And not only can you hit the drum with more confidence, but you can hit the like button. You can hit the subscribe button for more of my content. Number two, picking out the right drumstick. When you're buying, take a good look at the drumstick. Examine it. You'll notice these grain lines that are in the timber. Believe it or not, each one of these grain lines is a weakness in the stick. That's where the stick is going to split. Uh, example. Exhibit A, here we have a split in the stick. That is exactly where the grain line is. It didn't just magically split at that spot. That shows the weakness within it. You want to get a stick that doesn't have a lot of grain lines. The drumsticks that have less of a grain pattern I found were the less common ones. Don't go for the box standard. Vic Firth 5As or your Promark 5Bs. Go for something like Promark Natural or even a signature model, something that's just a little less known. Which brings us to number three, the tip of the stick. The tip is really important. I've done a video about this before. I'll leave it in the links up there. A chip tip of a stick can really impact your playing in a real negative way. Now I've experimented with every tip that's available. Teardrop, round, oval, barrel, starfish. And I've come to the conclusion that acorn tips last way longer. Now this is just my experience. If you have a different experience, please let me know. Now you can always use a nylon tip, but personally I cannot stand them. Four, a hugely important one, number your sticks. So what I usually do is I keep four pairs in my drumstick bag. Immediately I'll number each pair one to four. I'll use pair one and two for two shows, using the two of them for each show. So for one half I'll use pair one, and for the other half I'll use pair two. And then three and four for the next two shows. And I'll alternate like this throughout the life of the four pairs. I find the break in between the shows hardens up the timber. It's less stress on the wood and I find it, it prolongs the life way longer. Again, my experiences, you let me know yours. And finally, five is your setup. So if you set up with a very high flat symbol, this looks really cool. But it's the place sticks come to die. Try and bring them down just a little bit so that you can get on top of the symbol when you're playing. Use more of the shoulder of the stick rather than the tip, and even close to the butt end of the stick when you're riding on a symbol. But again, this is a real personal thing. You drum the way you drum, let you do you. Guys, that's it for this one. There are my five tips on how to make these drumsticks last longer. Please let me know down in the comments section if I've left something out. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Please hit the subscribe button and help the drummer out by giving it the thumbs up. And you can give it the thumbs down if you like. That's all right with me. Take it easy, have a good one. Bye bye. If you like what you've seen here today, you can see a lot more videos. Just click on any of them here on the screen.